Hi everyone, Irina here with the new Supply Chain Minute. This week I wanted to um, continue the conversation regarding grocery deliveries and just grocery availabilities at large in the United States. Um, let's discuss a little bit about the concept of flexible warehousing and the dark stores which are coming up. What um, Essentially what's happening is organizations are trying to keep up with e-commerce demand in the grocery um, demand al alone. What we've seen is an increase from the average 3 to 5 percent prior uh, to the pandemic to almost double digits in e-commerce deliveries. Um, and so essentially what's happening is um, Whole Foods and Amazon, as you've seen, they've put some people on hold in terms of new um, customers for the delivery services. They've also announced that one of their larger um, stores in Los Angeles and in Manhattan are going to only turn into fulfillment um, support. So they will no longer accept um, customers in those stores. Kroger has also announced this in one of their larger stores in um, in Cincinnati. And of course, the opposite is happening for Walmart and Target who are announcing, um, you know, more people um, added, added to their workforce to support both brick and mortar and e-commerce sales. Um, the question really is, are, is this trend here to stay, right? So are we looking at potentially continuing a more e-commerce deliveries type of service for groceries in the future? And if so, will there be more demand for micro warehousing and flexible warehousing? Will models like Flex, for example, uh, be more prevalent in the industry because uh, regional demand, um, you know, and grocery stores will need to continue to have, you know, little pop-up kind of demands everywhere to support um, different waves and different um, kind of patterns across United States and globally. Um, so I'm very interested to understand what's happening. Of course, these trends are impacting small and medium-sized grocers, um, while the larger grocery stores are investing into longer-term um, solutions. And so I'm very interested to see what the industry thinks, um, what supply chain solutions are going to accompany these new trends and requirements, and uh, just kind of what, what you guys are seeing. So more to come. Um, great to see you all.